In this video, let us set up an interactive system to monitor the position of a joystick. We are using two of our products, Automator Interactive, which is our PC application software with visualization tools, and T7000P, which is our signal generation and acquisition hardware. Here is a preview of this demo. The red circle within this widget tracks the position of the joystick. Note that the purpose of this video is only to demonstrate the usage of our products. This particular demonstration is also an example for a customer-specific widget. More on this topic later. In case you are new to our products, please visit our website for more details. Let us get started with the high-level connection diagram of this demo. Here is the joystick module. And this is T7000P. The joystick module has five pins. This is the ground line. The plus 5 volts is the voltage supply from a DC-DC buck regulator. VRX and VRY are the instantaneous voltage values based on the X and Y position of the joystick. They are connected to the analog input pins, AI2 Plus and AI1 Plus of T7000P. The corresponding AI minus pins are connected to the ground. VSW is a switch on the joystick, but it is not used in this demo and is left open. T7000P is connected to the PC with Automator via Ethernet. Here is the actual setup. This is the joystick module. This red wire is the 5 volt line coming from the external regulator. And this black wire is the ground. These two green wires are VRX and VRY. They are connected to the analog input pins, AI2 Plus and AI1 Plus of T7000P. The corresponding AI minus pins are connected to the ground. And this is VSW, but it is not used here. T7000P is connected to the PC using Ethernet. Next, let us set up an Automator interactive project. Here, the device T7000P is already added and is set online. Unlock the project to add the widgets. Now, open the widget tree. Take a look at this custom branch of the widget tree. Often, our customers need specialized widgets for their specific needs. In such cases, we develop the specialized widgets and put them under this branch. And these custom widgets would be made available only for the customer who requested them. This custom widget is developed only as an example for joystick position monitoring. Drag and drop a joystick widget and an analog and widget. Resize the widgets as needed. We don't need further changes in the layout. So, lock the project. For analog in and joystick widgets, select the device to which the widget events need to be directed. For analog and widget, enable AI1 and AI2 to start the acquisition of the input signals. Here is the interface file code that sends the analog values, VRX and VRY, to the widget. The setup is complete. Let us try this out. By default, the joystick is positioned at the center. So the red circle which indicates the joystick position is at the center of the widget. As we move the joystick, the red circle also moves accordingly. This completes our demo. Hope you enjoyed this video. Setting up an interactive system or a full automation system is very easy and affordable with our products. We do have plenty of other example videos on the usage of our products. Thank you for watching.
For more information, please visit us at www.texarsystems.com or contact us through phone or email.